Hello, this is uh, Motor City Spark again. This is uh, video number two for our Yellow Box CDI for the Banshee. It's a two step. And today we're going to go over some wiring and the clutch switch. And on top we have here the black box wiring, and on the bottom the yellow box wiring. Um, uh, the wiring is very simple, just eight wires. Uh, two go to the ignition coil, two go to the pickup coil. The black box has two grounds, pins three and seven, both go to battery ground. Um, the yellow wire is the ignition wire. Once you plug your tether in, it puts battery power on the box, and then the box starts drawing power through the five amp mini fuse. The yellow box on the bottom is almost the same except for pin 7. Pin 7, one side of pin 7 goes to your clutch switch, the other side goes to battery ground. That's called an open ground input. Now if you purchased a black box and you made a really nice wiring harness, it's a very simple mod to change your black box wiring into a yellow box. All you would have to do is cut pin 7 here, this black wire, next to the yellow, and then wire each end to the clutch switch and then you're done. You have now have a, a yellow box wiring. And the wiring and the CDIs are forward and backward compatible. You can plug a black box into the yellow box with the clutch switch. It will work just fine. Black box does not look at the clutch switch. You can plug a yellow box into the black box, but the only thing you will need to do is to turn your rev limit switch over here to zero so it disables the clutch switch input and now it will function just like your black box. So the one thing nice about battery CDIs is that um, they have status and diagnostics. They can, they can tell you why your engine won't start and um, by adding the clutch switch we, knew ha we, ha we have a clutch switch test for it that you will use when you first uh, uh, put your wiring together to make sure your clutch switch is working properly and it's a very simple test. You just have to set the rev limit switch to any number other than zero, one through F, and that enables the clutch switch input and the rev limit functions. Turn the CDI on, it will start, the green LED will blink, the CDI is telling you it's good, it's ready to go. Uh, the red LED will be off, telling you that the battery is good. Uh, do not start your engine and wait one minute and after one minute the red LED will follow your clutch switch. So when you pull in your clutch lever the red LED will turn on, the CDI sees the clutch switch and when you release the clutch the red LED will turn off. And If you have a mechanical adjustment on your clutch switch you just do this several times just to set that up. So I'll give you an example here. We, this CDI has been on since we've been uh, talking, so it's been more than a minute. We, we're over here, we're not on zero, and I'm going to use this rocker switch to simulate my clutch switch. So I'm going to pull the clutch lever in, the red LED comes on, I'm going to release the clutch lever, it's off, pull the clutch lever in, it's on, release the clutch lever, it's off. So you'll use that to um, initially uh, test your clutch switch input, make sure it's working properly. And anytime you think there's an issue, I'd like to go over a little more of the wiring and I will zoom in on this for you. All right, on top we have a, uh, a butt splice that's crimped and the shrink wrap will go over the butt splice and it's, it's best to use a heat gun, not a lighter on this shrink wrap. And I normally start at the center, then apply heat out to one end, go back to the center, apply heat out to the other end, and you'll see on the shrink wrap that there's glue coming out. And that glue will provide you with a waterproof connection um, down here is your crimp uh, female spade that plugs into your uh, banshee coil and again sh you know shrink wrap all the way out to the end um, apply heat and here's glue coming out now these female spades they normally come come loose here because there's no strain relief but th once this glue dries or cools off and hardens this is hard this doesn't bend anymore so that crimp is not coming loose so we'll go over one more um, 
thing on the uh, batteries options you have. Show you what you what you have available here. We'll just kind of try and set these up, and we'll probably have to zoom out a little bit for you. All right. Okay. This is uh, the Z brand family of 14.8 volt uh, lipo batteries, and on top we have the little 1500 milliamp hour, the 2200 the 7,000 and 5,200 and if you want to know how many passes you'll get 300 foot sand drag passes you'll get on your Banshee by using these batteries you just need to look at the first two numbers here this is 15 you'll get approximately 15 passes and a pass is uh, you ride your machine from the pit to the staging area stage race ride your machine back to the pit you can do that 15 times on this battery 22 on this battery 70 on this battery and 52 times on this battery and this 5200 is nice it comes in a hard shell case these top three are soft shell you can see the uh, cells inside there so those are the different uh, battery options you need and again you don't need to put a voltmeter on these batteries the cdi will bl start blinking the red LED when the battery's getting low telling you need to recharge it. You can still make a pass if it's blinking. If it goes full red, uh, CDI is telling you that the battery's very low and it's going to stop sparking so it doesn't undervolt these LiPo batteries. So if it's full red, do not make a pass because the battery will uh, turn off on you very shortly. So hopefully we've answered most of your questions on the yellow CDI. If not, um, you, know, you can drop us a message on Facebook, or you can email us. Our email address is at the bottom of our webpage, MotorCitySpark.com. So, uh, again, thank you for watching, and uh, have a nice day.